Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your final final feature game of the week. DCHL Pro Playoff Action, Blood Red versus Puck University. I'm your host, Jason Stitcha. I may or may not be joined sporadically by Luke Taylor, depending on uh, if he feels up to it. He just played a very intense game, uh, Ducks versus Funkmasters. That was also taped, so he is understandably exhausted. Anyway, Boris has got to take it up for Blood Red now. Shot and a save by Mel. Phil McAllister was there for the rebound, but not able to get a stick on it. Another shot, but it goes just wide. It actually hit the post. Jason able to hit it up to his teammate. And icing waved off. Good job, good hustle by Puck U. And a centering pass, but it goes to Blood Red. John Moynihan has the puck now. He has to dump it and allow his teammates to touch up, which they do. Red Boisel passes up to Phil McAllister. And a little bit of a collision there, but both players appear to be fine. Dump behind the net. And still behind the net. Brett's going to play it up for Blood Red. John not able to get stick on it. Icing waved off. And Jason Maxine has the puck now, battling with Matty G. Ryan got a stick on it, so it's waved off. Pass to Mari. Mari passed to Wendy. Ariel has it now, right below us, best seat in the house. He's gonna dump it into the offensive zone. But good stick by Ryan to hit it out. That's gonna be Sean Forrester with the puck now. Shot and a save by Mel, and she has to fall on it because Wendy was coming to get the rebound. So some good back and forth play right now by both teams. These teams are four and five seeds. Puck U, I believe, is the fourth seed, while Blood Red is the fifth seed. But I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Blood Red comes out on top. These are two teams that have battled hard all season long, and they have very good players. And it appears that today both teams have full benches. So we will see who triumphs in this contest. Justin A-Rod battling with Sean. Sean ends up with it. He's gonna pass to Matty G. Matty G attempt to pass it back to Sean, but it was intercepted. And that's gonna be whistled for icing. So it is gonna, it's gonna go all the way back in the zone. Scoreboard experiencing some issues, but it appears to be rectified now. So the scoreboard right uh, was off for a while. Um, the refs had to fix it. They did. And Blood Red taking the opportunity to get a quick change of females going. Numa coming in for Wendy. And play will continue now. Or will it? Yes, it will. Puck drop one by Puck University. Mari able to keep it in for Blood Red. Jeremy plays it up to his teammate. Numa loses her stick momentarily, but she's able to retrieve it. Just Kanerod trying to get out of the zone, but not able to do so. A shot, but it goes wide. Mel is going to cover up. So again, good play by both teams, but Blood Red having the advantage right now anyway, the momentum seeming to go their way. They've had a couple shots, uh, a couple faceoffs in the zone, but so far the score remains 0-0. Faceoff win by Puck University, Phil not able to keep it in. So, good play, it's in the neutral zone now. Ryan's gonna pass it up. Good play by Mari to get out of the zone. And Numa is going to run after it. And Numa is actually offside. And it's going to go all the way down. She was way offside there. 
So this is the final game of the night, folks, for the for this week of DCHL action. It's been a long day. It's been a it's been a long grind for myself, the referee staff, the scorekeepers, but it is just about done. And we will all be able to go to bed. Some of us will have a beer. Some of us will have a beer and then go to bed. I'm talking, of course, of my I'm talking about myself, of course. Phil McAllister with the breakaway. Shot and a save by Mel. And a good play by Jeremy to clear it up before any rebound shots could be generated. Good play by David to hit it up. It's going to trickle out of the zone. No icing here. Sean going to play it in the corner for Wendy. Wendy plays it up to Phil, but it's going to be David that gets there first. He's going to dump in the corner. Barb has it now. Barb attempted a centering pass, but Phil was able to deflect it. Barb passed it up to, well, initially David, but it was intercepted by her own teammate, which is fine in this instance. Oh, a couple whacks, but Sean Sampson able to make the save. Phil McAllister taking it up now. Boris, a pass to Boris. And they're off. Numa has to get off. Or back outside, rather. She's still off, and now she's good. Pass, pass from Phil to Phil. So McAllister has it now. Good work, good move. A long shot. Oh, and Numa's there for the rebound. It's loose. Good job by Jason to get down. Yeah. Wow, what a save! What a save there. Mel was on the ground. What a connection! But, but Jason, Jason, her husband, able to to back her up there and make the save. Jason, not a, not normally a goalie, but he played one there. So Phil McAllister and Jason battling. Jason intercepts. He's going to hit up the board. Wendy hits it around to Brett. Brett's going to hit it up. It's going to go all the way down. It's going to be whistled for icing. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, he scored the empty net. Yeah. It's going to go all the way down. Face off now. Oh, the goalie there. Yeah, today he. He's back there. Ridiculous. Cool, what's that? Yeah, great shot. So the face off going to happen at stick side. Sean Sapson in net for Blood Red. Melanie Maxine in net for Puck University. And Mel makes another great save. The rebound's going to trickle to Mari, but she's not able to get enough on it. Matt took a swing at it, and it's going to trickle again to Mel, who will cover it up. So a couple outstanding saves by Mel there. Former Penn State goaltender. And she is showing why there. One by nobody in particular. It's going to go back to Wendy, though. She's able to keep it in. Matt with a shot. Mel's going to deflect away with her stick. Brian's going to take it, hit it up. Intercepted by Sean. Sean's going to take a shot. And Jason with a volleyball swipe to get the puck out of the zone. Matt passes to Mari. Mari's going to get a shot on. Great shot by Mari, but a deflection by Mel. Jessica Nayrod's going to pass it. Oh, the shot goes wide. Sean has it for Blood Red. Passes it to Matt. Matt needs some help. Mari's, Mari's going to go center. Another pass. It bounces off of Mari into the corner. Matt is wide open. A centering pass, but it goes to Mel, and she's able to hit away. Mari tries another centering pass, but it's deflected. She still has the puck. She's going to dump it again in front of the net, but nobody there for it. Mel, Wendy's able to keep it in, though, with a good shot. Went wide. Brian is not able to get out of the zone. Oh, and I stand corrected. He was able to just get out of the zone before we could advance. So face-off will happen just outside of the Puck University defensive zone. Mel tapping the post, making sure that the net is in the correct spot. Very important for a goaltender not to give up an inch by having the net off. So you'll see goaltenders during a stoppage of play just tap the net to make sure it is in the correct position. And there's going to be a wheeling penalty here. 
It's going to be against Ryan of Blood Red, and he knows it. So power play opportunity for Puck University. The score is 0-0, 4 minutes and 50 seconds left in the first period of play. And we will see what transpires here. It's won by Puck University, and it's going to be ruled as an early drop. Or, uh, yeah, I guess it's an early drop is the best way to put it. So it's still won by Puck U. Jeremy has it. He's going to pass to John Moynihan. It's going to go through his legs. And good play. Jump, jump, jump. Blood Red advancing now. Shot and a save by Mel. Mel has been tested early and often in this game, but she has stood tall every chance so far. Jeremy taking it around the net. Puck you giving him a lot of space. They're on the PK, so it makes sense. Pass to John. John's gonna attempt the shot. Sean Sampson tried to catch it with his glove, but it was just too high. Pass up. Brett's going to clear. Oh, try to clear it out of his zone. It's caught by Jeremy. A shot. Doesn't get through traffic. A shot, and Sean is able to make the save with his shoulder. Pass to center to Ariel, but not able to connect. Kept it by John. And Puck you doing a good job on this penalty, or on this power play, generating chances, but so far none of them have gone in. Wendy has it. Nobody there to help her though, but Wendy being very aggressive on this penalty kill. Now Boris is there for some help, some support along the boards. John is gonna pass the center to Ariel. Ariel's gonna pass it to Barbara. is going to end up with the puck now again, but Boris is going to steal it. Barr putting some pressure on. Can play along the boards. Ariel now has the puck. He's looking for a centering pass. He's going to try and pass it to the point, but not enough on it. Mary was there to intercept. Mari, sorry. He was there to intercept. Dumped in, and Wendy is hit again. I say again because she was hit last week, and... Not in the face this time, she's wearing a, a helmet with a face cage, so that's fortunate. But I think she was hitting the leg, so she had to come off really quickly. Shot by Boris, but saved by Mel. Phil pass to Boris. Another shot, another save by Mel. Jessica Nayrod trying to get out of the zone, not able to do so. On the second effort, though, it does get into the neutral zone. Blood Red off, still off. And again, Numa having trouble uh, getting back on side quick enough. And so this will result in what the refs deem to be an intentional offside, and it will be taken in their defensive zone. The blood red defensive zone, rather. Not the refs' defensive zone, because the refs don't have a zone. Their zone is the entire court. 137 left on the clock in this first period. Face off one by Boris, but. Puck U still able to maintain uh, possession of it. Ryan has it, he's gonna hit it up. Long shot attempt by Jason, but it did not get to the net. Another shot attempt, but it did not get through traffic. Jessica Nayrod took a swing at it. Another shot, another save by Sean Sampson. <laughs> Ryan has it, uh, gets tied up by his own uh, teammate Boris there. Boris able to put a shot on, but it goes well wide. Passes it up to number 13 on Puck University. Fish, number 19 of Puck University, has it now. Another shot, but a save by Sean Sampson. A hard point shot from Jason Maxstein. Another shot attempt, but it doesn't get their traffic that time. 33 seconds left on the clock. Phil to Boris. Boris going to put a shot on, but it goes well wide. It goes out of the zone, Jessica Nayrod. Good job by her. And another good stick by Jessica, but Boris is still gonna end up with it. Phil with the shot, and Mel able to swallow it up. And with that, that is gonna end the first period of action. We will get shots on goal for you shortly at the buzzer. Yep, that 
is going to do it, folks, for that first period. Again, we're going to try and get shots on goal. Jay, shots on goal. I may or may not get it, folks. We'll see. Jay, shots on goal. Shots on goal, 13 to 1. Blood red. 13 to 1, blood red. So, Puck University, yeah, I don't think that's right at all. Puck University definitely had more shots than that. So, that is the unofficial goal, right? That is the unofficial tally right now. But Yeah, so, that is the unofficial tally. I don't think that's right. We will deliberate, and we will... Join you again for the second period. This first period of play brought to you, brought to you by Doritos.